Actually, Jupiter, you're supposed to be able to see their eclipses with a, with a telescope for like hours. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think Romer. Was it Romer who first uh, found the speed of light using Jupiter's uh, shadows, I believe? Because what? Because the the position of the shadow lagged behind the the planet, the, the moon, right? Well, yeah, because he found they knew the they were able to predict fairly accurately where where the planet should be, and uh, and um, you know, did they measure? I forget how exactly they measured. But it had to do with the shadows. I tell you, they that, that's got to be one of the more impressive ones, is measuring the speed of light using that, especially since we've never been there. You know, we've never mm -hmm. been to the, you know, hadn't been to Jupiter, hadn't done any of that stuff. And you freaking wanted to measure the speed of light with a lamp. It was an idea. Galileo tried that, and you know what he found? He found Nothing. that the he found that the speed of light is faster than the measurement device that I have. There, because light travels a hundred and eighty-six thousand times in a second. Human reaction time is a tenth of a second, which means mm -hmm. move the decimal one spot. You have to be separated by eighteen thousand miles for their for other the side delay of the earth. for the what? The other side of the earth. Exactly. You cannot measure it with a stop with a, So we a need a real big laser to bounce off the moon. I'm I'm talking big enough to where we can see what well, the I mean, yeah, that's how, that's how they measure the distance from Earth to the moon. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm talking like, you know but with a stopwatch. <laughs> we get a real big laser. Can you imagine how big of a laser you would need so you could pick it up with your naked eye when it comes back? And then how do you account for the fact that light slows down when it's going through our atmosphere? There's going to be a lot of air. I don't know. They freaking do it. Don't, look, look at me. Well, they account for it. They can account for the air. I don't know how to well, account for Well, you're not going to be doing it with a stopwatch anyways. Because like, what are you going to wait for a giant gr gr giant green beam of light to beam down from the heavens? Yes, four seconds later. Can you imagine just like the mass, the, laser, the the size of the laser array you would need for it to come back like that? The well, thing would the freaking thing ionize the air around you before you when you send it up. It was just like this... It'd be like a bolt of lightning. Just yeah. Well, they boom. do it from space, though. Huh? They do it from a satellite. 